and what we're doing is, is life changing, it's historic, and I hope that we're able to create a direct pathway to citizenship in every West African country. 59 African Americans recently received their citizenship in Sierra Leone after tracing their roots to the West African nation through DNA. Diallo Sombri is the president and CEO of the Adinkra Group. He's also the first African-American tourism ambassador to Ghana, and he's been instrumental in helping to get citizenship for African-Americans in Sierra Leone. I work with a company called AfricanAncestry.com, and AfricanAncestry.com is the world's oldest and largest DNA tracing company for people of African descent. The citizenship process actually was started by some African Ancestry customers who found their roots in Sierra Leone and they began traveling back and forth and lobbying the government in Sierra Leone. Now, in 2019, uh, we created something called African Ancestry Family Reunions. And that was to help the African Ancestry family member, we call our customers family members, make that complete identity circle. Dr. Gina Page is the co-founder and president of African Ancestry, who traced her roots to Nigeria. I spoke with her about the process of citizenship in Sierra Leone. The way the citizenship process works in Sierra Leone, you have to be present to receive citizenship. The president, President Bio, actually handed everyone their citizenship. So you can't get it unless you're there on the ground. It was so powerful for everybody because who gets that level of access to a country president, you know? You could even see it in their faces. Like people were visibly nervous, but you could also see in their faces proud. Prince Dinah Stamir, who lives in Atlanta, and Jay Cameron from Washington, D.C., both received their citizenship in Sierra Leone. Um, we didn't choose to be taken away. Our ancestors had no say uh, in the uh, forced migration to the West, to build up the West. So a lot of us, uh, we want to come back. What led you to go to Sierra Leone in the first place? And how did you know that they were giving citizenship to African-Americans? October of 2018, had the opportunity to discover my African, uh, my maternal African ancestry, and it led to the Timonay tribe in Sierra Leone. And I was not familiar with Sierra Leone other than knowing that it was a country in West Africa. So take us through the process of how you became a citizen. Well, one night, Dr. Gina was uh, on, a, on an African ancestry uh, Facebook Live, and she was talking about how they were getting ready to do the African Ancestry family reunion, and the first one was going to be to Sierra Leone, and Sierra Leone was offering citizenship to those who could prove that they were descendants of one of the different tribes in Sierra Leone through African Ancestry. Sierra Leone will continue to grant citizenship to any person of African descent who can prove their ancestral ties through DNA tracing. No other country is doing what Sierra Leone is doing. So they're a first. So when uh, President Bio signed my document saying I'm officially Sierra Leone. When I took my oath, when he gave me my passport, oh uh, man, it was just, it was a surreal feeling. For more information, you can visit AfricanAncestry.com. You may be the next person to get citizenship in Sierra Leone. I'm Ivy Prosper, and I'm coming to you from Accra, Ghana for Atlanta Black Star.